Hey, before we go ahead, I would like you to quickly introduce and see what I have built for you. If you are liking the way I teach and explain things, then do check out two of my courses in Udemy that focuses completely on AWS interview questions and answers. Okay. There are two courses. The first one is AWS interview questions and answers for freshers. And the second one is 50 DevOps interview questions and answers. Okay. The coupon code link with a special discount is in the description box. You can go and check out the course and you are going to understand more in depth detail around DevOps interview preparation, the kinds of question, and of course, learn with it. I hope you're going to enroll for the course. Now let us jump back to the video. Thank you. Hi, welcome to this video. Let us understand the question that we are seeing on the screen and then see and discuss the details around this topic and then finally present the answer if this appears in the interview. So what is the question? The question is, how is the secret engine used in your organization? So what is a secret engine? It is a place where we can safely store our secrets. Now let us try to understand this. When you are dealing with secrets, we have two famous options that we are aware of. Now, what are these two famous options? The first one is AWS Secret Manager, and the second one is HashiCorp Vault. Before I go ahead, what exactly is a secret? What qualifies as a secret? Does your name qualify as a secret? No, not exactly, right? So what qualifies as a secret is password, password, username, sometimes, not always, username, then API keys, API keys also qualify and IP addresses, IP addresses can also become secrets. So in this password, this can be user passwords, this can be user passwords, or this can be database, database password, database passwords, etc. Why is it important that we discuss this topic? Secrets cannot be stored in plain text format. It is not allowed to store it in plain text format. What is plain text format? The text you're seeing on the screen is a plain text format. So it has to be stored in an encrypt, encrypted, encrypted format, encrypted format. So usually we encrypt this and we store it. There are two services that are very famous and that we just discussed now is AWS Secret Manager and HashiCorp Vault. Now, why am I discussing both of this? Usually, if you are using AWS, if you are using AWS, plus if you are presenting your answer to be also using cloud formation to spin up infrastructure, then I would recommend you to mention AWS Secret Manager. Okay. Now, where does AWS Cloud Formation use the secret? Let us say using this Cloud Formation, you are spinning up a database. You will have to pass the username and password. Am I right? So you have to pass the username and password. So if you want to pass the username and password in the Cloud Formation script, rather than doing that, you can use the AWS Secret Manager where you are going to store it and either the cloud formation is going to pick these passwords or username or once the username password has been successfully generated it is going to store it in the aws secret manager i hope that is clear but if you are using if you are using terraform if you are using terraform in this case what we can use in this case we can use the we can use the hashicorp vault hashicorp vault is a place where you can store the secrets safely. Now, which one to say in the interview that depends on your presentation in the interview and what are the tech stacks that you have mentioned during the interview to understand this much better. Okay. So in the interview, if you are presenting that you are using Terraform and if you are using multiple clouds or AWS clouds, then I would recommend you to go with HashiCorp Vault. Now, remember, they might ask you some follow up questions on HashiCorp Vault. But you can always say that we are only I only know about this, this parameters in HashiCorp Vault, like how to store it and how to retrieve. That is fine. You don't have to be a certified a, a HashiCorp Vault engineer at this point of time. Okay. 
So how do we present this answer? I will give two variations for this answer. You can choose from it based on your experience and your needs. Okay. The first one, this is how you can answer. Because my current experience is limited to AWS and my current project is also using AWS a lot and we are using cloud formation. We are using, we are using cloud formation to spin up the infrastructure. We are using the AWS secret manager to store our secrets. I am also aware that in some of the projects that my other colleagues are working, they are using Terraform and they prefer HashCorp Vault. This is how you can present the answer in the interview. What is the other variation? This is how you can present the answer if you are mentioning Terraform, okay? So because my current project, we are using Terraform heavily to spin up and maintain infrastructure resources, we come across HashiCorp Vault to be an easy solution to store the secrets. Because Terraform uses HashiCorp Vault and the plugins of HashiCorp Vault is very easy, we pre prefer to use the HashiCorp Vault. Also, when using Terraform, we can also use the AWS Secret Manager to store, but our current senior architects have decided to use Vault as a single storage for all the passwords in our organization, and hence we are using HashiCorp Vault. Okay, you can present the answer in both the ways. Fine. Now, there can be a counter question regarding encryption. So, what kind of encryption you are using? Now, this is a very security related question. And if you are not aware what kind of encryption you are using, then I would safely answer this in this way. Okay. So what the, what is the follow up question? The follow up question is what kind of encryption you are using? I would answer this way. Okay. Because we are using AWS secret manager from what I am aware, there is a AWS secret manager built in security encryption, which is getting used. We are not using any customized encryption at this point of time. This is how you can present the particular answer in the interview. Okay. So remember AWS secret manager and HashiCorp vault. And remember how to present the answer. If you are sharing that in AWS uh, plus cloud formation, or if you are using the Terraform per se, also we saw that if there is a counter question or a follow up question on encryption, how to handle it. That is it for this video, my friends. Speak to you in the next video. Thank you.